friends on YouTube, Erica Hammond here with Type 1 Diabetes for 27 years. Today's video is going to be about diabetes and pregnancy. I am dedicating this video to all of you people out there that would like to have a family or trying to have a family and you're diabetic and you're, you have all these worries and concerns about what is going to happen. So today I'd like to calm some of your fears and at the same time give you some tips and maybe some advice on how to have a, a healthy pregnancy. So my first pregnancy, um, I started out without being on a pump, and I immediately got on a pump just because I wanted to be safeguarded. I'd heard her, all these horror stories about people having children with deformities because of being a diabetic, and so I just freaked out. I was so afraid of having that happen to my baby because of my diabetes, and so I immediately was under a doctor's care. Um, if you're under a doctor's care already, great. Um, and to be, you know, just on in target range before you start out would be wise. So with my first pregnancy, I had a really, um, I wouldn't say horrible doctor, but she caused more stress for the pregnancy than, than if I hadn't had her. So she was always getting after me for my blood sugars, which I was really trying hard to control. And at the beginning of my pregnancy, I was, you know, taking the... A normal amount of insulin that I usually was and by the end I was taking double the amount of insulin I had started out with because as your hormones change and things throughout the pregnancy you will need more and more insulin to keep your blood sugars down and so my blood sugars were um, probably around the 200s and throughout my whole pregnancy and I just I really was trying to keep them down but just the stress of it all and and just freaking out over the fears that I had made it not a really fun pregnancy. I wasn't excited. I was more scared than excited. And so if you're trying to have children, just relax and enjoy every second and try to just love your baby so that it it feels the love. And, and when you're not as stressed, your blood sugars will be much better. So my first baby actually weighed 9'4". And it was um, born four weeks early. So it would have been probably a 13-pound baby. But I was also stressed to the max, you know, over the whole pregnancy and childbirth and everything. So be as prepared as you need to be. Like, go to classes on childbirth and and go and and hear all the good stories that you can about children. Don't, don't. Uh, focus on the doom and gloom. Um, if I had done that, I, I would have had a better experience. Um, so when my first um, child was born, he had broken a rib and his clavicle bone right here because he was so big and he was my first. And so that made it so that he had to be in ICU for the first 10 days of his life. And it was really super hard on me to see him go through that. And so through my second pregnancy, I had so much better of a time. I, I was so happy and, and my doctor had, I had changed my doctor and she was just ecstatic for me to be able, be able to have a baby. And she wasn't so dang stressed about every blood sugar. She wasn't nitpicking me on if my blood sugar went over 200. She's like, you know, just try your best, take it easy. Um, go walk, do the best you can on exercise and, and you'll be fine. And throughout that whole pregnancy, I felt much calmer and um, not as worried about the horror stories that I'd heard. And and then for the second one, I decided to have a C-section because I was afraid of, of having another big baby um, and breaking bones of the baby. So I had a C-section. Um, my baby was only eight, two or something only ate two, but he was early also. But um, because I hadn't stressed so much about my blood sugars, my blood sugars were better through the preg pregnancy. I took multivitamins and all those things that to help with the development of the baby, and it was much smoother the second time around. So I hope this video helped you. I hope that you will post your comments and questions, and please subscribe to my channel and Give me some comments if you have any questions and have a great night.